So you still can't buy a graphics card for a decent price, huh? Really? God, I hate this crap. Oh well, maybe AMD can help. Plus, AMD's response on the ever-looming exploits mostly plaguing Intel, but also kind of sort of AMD. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all things gaming and hardware news and reviews. Okay, so I know I've discussed the GPU epidemic quite a bit lately, but it's really something that's heavily affecting the tech industry right now, specifically the PC gaming market. Well, I do have some good news, as well as more clarification on what's going on with the shortages that have caused a pandemic in prices. For one, AMD is officially ramping up production of their graphics cards. During the company's earnings call, the CEO answered a question regarding the shortages. She said, and I quote, The GPU channel is lower than we would like it to be, so we are ramping up production. At this point, we're not limited by silicon per se, so our foundry partners are supplying us. There are shortages in memory, and I think that is true across the board, whether you're talking about GDDR5 or talking about high bandwidth memory. We continue to work through that with our memory partners, and that will be certainly one of the key factors going into 2018. So there's a couple things we can take from this. For one, they are upping production, but it seems they're only able to do so much thanks to the shortages in memory that the industry has been dealing with for quite a while now. Basically, this whole thing has been the perfect storm. Massive demand from the likes of crypto miners and gamers who haven't had a chance to buy for a while, coupled with industry-wide shortages and memory that spans everything from GDDR5 to HBM and I'd assume GDDR5X as well, having made GPUs incredibly hard to come by. That or up their value by a massive amount. With that said, it's good to know that AMD is up in production as much as they can. Let's just hope it'll be enough to at least lower prices some so gamers have a chance to buy without putting a second mortgage on their house. The last bit of news is more good, or should I say good-ish news from AMD during their earnings call? Lisa Su makes it pretty clear they're working on the exploit issues for Spectre 1 and 2, which are the ones AMD chips are susceptible to. She stated that they're continuing to work on mitigation for Spectre Variant 1 and have rolled out OS patches. As for Variant 2, they do still believe it's difficult to actually exploit, but the company is deploying the microcode patches to mitigate that potential as much as possible. They also reassure that Zen 2 will contain architectural changes to address them. Now, that's more of the good-ish news. I'm assuming it means that Zen Plus is too far along in the pipeline to make major changes to the core architecture. Actually, I'd say it makes perfect sense, but seeing as how Intel has already assured their next-generation CPU is set to land at the end of this year won't, that could hurt some sales for AMD. With that said, they do seem pretty confident that they're already not that susceptible, and with the microcode patches, it should further mitigate that possibility, hopefully making it a non-issue. As usual though, only time will tell. But of course, what do you think? Are you like me and just waiting for the used GPU market to explode with tons of new graphics cards at bottom of the barrel prices when cryptocurrencies dip down, forcing GPU manufacturers to scramble to release something more enticing? No? Oh, well, let me know what you think of the news down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.